week's video. As you can see, it didn't take much for the farm to become completely overgrown again. And with just a couple of days before the strimming and burning deadline, I've got a lot to do in the next couple of days. But that is for next week. <laughs> For today and this week's video, I will take you on a little trip to Lisbon with me where I spent the day casting my vote in the South African elections. Let's hope that that makes a difference and let's hope that box gets there. <laughs> the other thing that kept me really busy this week has been trying to complete that gate refurb, that gate makeover, project gate. <laughs> At my front gate, at my entrance gate. Did I do it? Did I finish it? Let's see. Thank you for watching. This is Girl Meets Farm. second prime is dry the pillars are now nice and clean after their scrub they're actually looking so much better already as it is i love the white i think uh, if it weren't so impractical i probably would have kept them white but it's just not practical to have white on a gate at least the one well the metal gate Oh, these pillars look so clean. <laughs> they look really good. Let's get color.
believe it or not, the first prime court is actually on that pillar. You can't really tell much because the first layer had to be diluted one to one. And because this pillar has never been painted before, this is super absorbent. But it's got to go on, it's got a water guard in as well, so it's a waterproofing paint. It's time! Although I've stayed here before, oh, and I apologize if we've got some light flickering, but without the lights it's going to be rather dark. This is the little Airbnb we're staying in for the weekend. It's an apartment. It's unlike what I usually book. Oh, and excuse everything because I've already dogified everything for the dogs. It's unlike what I usually book because usually I would book something with a garden for the dogs to make things easier, for them to be outside as well. But I wanted to be closer to the city and this one was available. It's a cute little apartment in an apartment building. It's a basement level apartment, so there is no garden here, but there's a really big park just outside the door to which I can take them for walks and also to do their ablutions. A nice size bedroom. Hey darling. And I've already put their little bed out, a nice cupboard to unpack things. There's actually a great little bathroom. Perfect size. One doesn't really need more than this. Oh, and I'm sorry for that flicker. Nice size shower. Perfect. And the kitchen. Also a really nice kitchen. Everything you can imagine. And I love these guys. They actually had a bowl of water ready for the dogs. With treats for the dogs as well for our stay. And uh, even some pashtesh denata for me and some water. Really sweet. These are the little special touches that I adore from hosts. They were so amazing and they are so amazing. It's really a joy to stay in this apartment actually. Oven. There's a dishwasher if I remember correctly. Yep. Dishwasher, oven, microwave was behind me. Fridge is this one. Yeah. And this is a basement level apartment, so that is ground level of this window. But uh, more than enough light in here, more than enough air in here. It's a really cute little apartment for a city stay. The other thing I love about this uh, apartment is that it's right by the train station. That. Uh, over there, that is the Sao Joao Estoril train station and it is the line that connects Qashqaish and Lisbon so it's just a quick hop on here it's literally two minutes walk from the apartment and then I can make my way to Lisbon One of my favorite markets, the Climat Market. Inside, there are loads of restaurants and things to buy. Flour, fresh food, vegetables.
But today, in line with keeping it South African, we're here. Well, I'm here at the Quest coffee shop, which is South African owned. I'm here to meet a friend who's also from South Africa. Go we'll brunch before I go off to vote. Better than a day at Mug and Bean. And there are some South African desserts on here. And there it is, my banana bread. Chocolate brownie. All the delicious South African things. Oh, it's a quiche. Yum. And this is the South African voting day. I thought I would arrive a little bit later. It's now 11.30 in the morning. But uh, the queue is incredibly long. It goes all the way around the corner. wanted to give the gate a bit of dynamic color so I sprayed in two colors so that when looking from the one side you're seeing silver on the top and when looking from the other side you're seeing blue. <laughs> <laughs> 